So like in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 1, and it reads, A false balance is abomination to Yahweh, but a just way is his delight. So it tells you right there that to love all the time, nonstop, art is an abomination unto the Lord. Okay, because that's fake, man. That's why hey, you go into the Christian church sometimes, and they seem bugged out. All they do is just smile and try to hug everybody. But that's not what the scriptures say. The Heavenly Father says, hey, there's a time for all things. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1, and it reads, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the sun. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which was planted. A time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up. Okay? A time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to, to restrain from embracing. All right, so you gotta have a balance, man. You gotta be right down the middle, man. You don't wanna just be hugging all the time, like I said. You don't wanna be loving all the time because now you're leaving place for the devil. You have no place for rebuke, man. All right, but the Heavenly Father lets you know that these things are an abomination. All right, because you're not operating in spirit and the truth. All right? Now, verse 8 of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, and it says, A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. So there's a time for all things at this point, man. Okay? So back to uh, Wisdom of Solomon, he tells you, Hey, love righteousness. How do you do that, man? By hating the things that are wicked. Psalms chapter 97 and 10. And it says, Ye that love Yahweh hate evil. Okay? That's the clear instruction. That's the clear commandment from the Heavenly Father, man. For all those who have a problem with the Lord and what He says, and they just want to love at all times. No. The Heavenly Father says right here, Ye that love Yahweh. So if you love the Heavenly Father, if you love righteousness, okay, there's an instruction that he gave you and a commandment for you to follow. It says that ye that love Yahweh hate evil. All right? You can't be friends with it. You can't be kind of close. Okay, he says hate it. Vehemently. Matter of fact, let me grab that. This is Iraq. Chapter 17. In verse... 24 and it reads but unto them that repent he granted them return and comforted those that failed in patience all right so those that repent and come back to the heavenly father keeping his commandments which is a, a servant righteousness okay he says verse 25 return unto yahweh and forsake thy sins make thy prayer before his face and offend less okay so if you truly love righteousness what you're going to do every day you wake up you're going to take that opportunity that second chance all right to offend less if you transgressed 150 times yesterday and well today we're going to cut it to down to 75 man we're going to cut it in half all right and then after that hey we did 75 but today we're going to do 30. you see every day should be cutting down on that wicked or on the iniquity that you was committing okay because why you actually seek the heavenly father in simplicity of mind it's not a hard thing to do all right keeping the commandments not eating pork shrimp and lobster keeping the sabbath day holy all right not hating your brother in your heart these things are simple but our people hey they love evil man okay they know how to do evil all day but to hey righteousness they know not man okay but Hey, maybe it's because they never heard it before. Well, today, hey, the Heavenly Father gave you commandment, man. Love righteousness and hate evil. All right? Verse 26, Tyrak 17, it says, Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity, for he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of hell, and hate thou abomination vehemently.